becoming an aircon technician for 30 days. Out of all the experiences I had, this was by far the most distant activity I had last year as I was always an academic inclined student and I was always the type of boy who just prefers to stay at home. Quite far-fetched, but it still speaks of my character of being highly interested in learning new things firsthand. I just got to try this, even when this is not very me at all. I am not used to be on the labor force, and for me, it was very uncomfortable to do this job. Anyways, this was my experience in summer 2022, and I am just sharing it today because this was just the time that I got to face and tell the story about it. For now, let's dive in with the experience. Back in mid-March 2022, I got to involve myself in doing fieldwork that mainly utilizes your physical strength. After the training I had from a vocational course involving refrigeration and air conditioning unit, I found myself becoming an air con technician trainee at a known multi-brand servicing company in Pangasinan. For 30 days, I had worked with technicians who were skillful in dealing with air conditioning units that involved conducting surveys, installation, repairing and troubleshooting, and cleaning air conditioning units. It was a blue collar job actually, but what interested me the most was the insane oddity that this was very far from my character. We're actually con conducting a survey right now, so, mm, so as to not be proud on the inside. I was always the type of boy who gets good grades in school, plays active roles in the church, and always prefers to stay at home which I find more comfortable given the warmth that we already have. However, this time around, undergoing certain courses including the air con servicing was just something that made me feel so uncomfortable but was an essential part for the coming out of my shell. I've always went with air con technicians in going to houses that had been assigned to us. We installed split-type air conditioning units, which was always a demand, especially in summer time that I had my training, given the extreme heat experienced at being in my country. From communicating to customers, to the installation of indoor and outdoor units, up to the packing and leaving, it was always a labor to do it with two installations every single day. On my very first days, though I injured it, I had back pain and my body felt worn out for the first time in a while because I was lifting things and the air conditioning units were very heavy. But over time, my body got used to it. Uh, right now, we are currently here on the road and I am with my superiors, Sir Janelle and Sir Joel. And of course, uh, we are going to install another air conditioner unit. So yes, we're off to another place and it's actually going to be my hometown, which is Lingayen. Installing right units, now, uh, especially the outdoor ones, wore me out too. Because as an aircon technician, you have to install them on external walls of houses where you are not shaded by roofs. The sun was always hot and you need to endure the heat as you work hard. Every time we finish an installation or carry out a particular service in the morning, by noon time, we eat our lunch on a nearby local cafeteria, or in my language, Calenderia. We always need to eat in a hyper manner to fuel our strength to do manly work. Sometimes, customers are kind enough to provide us with snacks or merienda to nourish ourselves as we do our installation. When we are still on break, we take short rests on nearby shade, under trees, or somewhere comforting. By this time, it's only when I get to regain my strength physically and mentally and take full use of my phone. One of the best parts for this experience was also riding on a garong, an enclosed tricycle used for carrying heavy stuff because it was always a mini dream of mine to ride it as a kid. It was always enjoyable to just sit down, feel the simpleness of work, and sightsee places I rarely go to. There were occasions though where I rode on four wheels, I always had this motion sickness that I am overcoming, but at the time, riding at the back of the truck was also something to experience for me. Anyways, of course, I'm telling the experiences I gained beyond the job. 
but as an aircon technician, I learned how to drill walls, make use of handy tools I'm not used to, and got familiarized with the overall process of installing air conditioning units. If I practice this, I probably get better in this field as it's actually simple and you just have to understand the concept of airflow, temperature, pressure, and so on. Next thing I learned was, as much as technicians or a senior would find it a bother to teach you, they would love it more than you become a bother to their job. Practically speaking, do not be afraid to ask. They would just find it to be absurd to act proudly when you really don't know anything. When necessary, ask for assistance. As a trainee or an intern of any profession, you must remember this. Another thing I learned from this 30-day training was, going to places provided me with a skill to improve navigating around. Being with my superiors, I learned from their experience that when the roadmap isn't clear, they feel indifferent towards asking other people. As, after all, if you don't know where your destination is, you can always rely on the locals, as eventually, you will find it. This was actually my fifth and final vocational course I had attended during gap year, and it was the last because of the honest stress that it had given me and given the time frame that I was seeing. I learned a lot honestly though that the reason why our parents are advising us to study hard is because it's hard to be in the position of a blue collar job. Being only 19 at this age from last year's experience, technicians themselves were telling me that I was so young for this and their primary advice was mag-aral kang mabuti because their work is hard. Hard in such a way that you have to deal with the stress revolving around respect, labor, and income. The most important learning I gained throughout this experience was to respect and appreciate the efforts of people whose work are blue-collar jobs. Technicians, farmers, in the construction, mining sectors, and so forth should be honored for their good work. From a general perspective, I got to witness the inequities that will stem out to the incompetence of higher form of leadership and management. If we continue to fail in valuing them a little bit more, we would see a big loss in the future, thinking what went wrong when we always knew the answers in the first place. I wish they were just a little bit more appreciated in my country, not just technicians, but to all the blue collar jobs that we have. Or without them, from a wider point of view, the force towards success of a company or economy cannot be achieved. Their jobs are maybe simple, but not entirely easy. Just like any other job, though we can get used to doing the installation of air conditioning units every day, it's still not easy to be on their shoes because of the labor that they have to do. If you'll ask me though, I wouldn't want to try this again was tough to adjust from academics to doing practical work, but I improved a lot nonetheless. However, if I ever get the chance to cross this path again in the future for experience, I probably do better, be more confident, and be more assertive in doing mainly technical work than I used to do on this. For now, that's all I have to share. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Jay, wondering how odd, isn't it?